What is happening guys, Mato Martinez back again, estamos aquí, vámonos. What is happening guys, Mato Martinez back again, and we're going to touch base with your respect of this particular pack of fragrances. But before we get into it guys, as you do know, the channel is still growing, please help me out. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, help the channel go guys, grow, grow, go, 5,000 subscribers, let's go. So guys, again, as you can see, just doing this round of um, assessment on these particular fragrances now. And then we have this particular group here, which again seems to be based all on the classics version of fragrances that come out. And this is the Sport Edition. Now again, I'm not gonna go and purchase each single bottle as some YouTubers choose to do, but hey, they're making the cash from it. So let, by all means, let them go and do it. However, for me guys, I'm gonna get these packs for now and then check them out and see what I feel. Um, now, as you can see guys, this is where it comes. This is what it comes in. You've got this heritage pack, is what they're calling it now, the heritage selection. You know, and then on top of that, again, you've got these cards down just below. So again, shout out about the cards. Um, now this is the sport edition, it seems to be. So I'm assuming that these fragrances now are slightly more aquatic. Everyone seems to feel like 9.0 is the key one to keep an eye out for. So we'll see how that goes, obviously, on this review. These are the first times that I'm actually smelling the outside of the store anyway, this is the first time I'm actually smelling these um, actual individual um, uh, fringes right about now. So by all means guys, bear with me. I'm gonna continue with the way I did on the previous videos. Not checked out the previous video, go and check that one out now. Um, let's start off with 5.0. So 5.0 guys is, again, the sports version. Let's have a quick look now. Let's go for it. So 5.0 guys seems to be slightly more, I'm even picking up like a champagne note in there to be honest actually, it's not bad. Uh, it's got bergamot, apple in there, some cinnamon, geranium, some leather. It's difficult to really know when to use these sort of Zara fragrances these days because the issue is that they've been reformulated to such an extent that you can't really base on what it says on. When it says something like it says on the tin, sport or extreme or whatever it may be, it's very difficult to know where, you, where when you can use it. It smells to me like it's a floral, slightly sweet, um, sweet fra fra um, smell, sweet fragrance. Maybe unisex, maybe even borderline feminine. Got some geranium in there, so that's where I'm getting the floral note in there. It smells slightly sweet. You know what this smells? This smells to me like Coach for Men. I want to say Coach for Men Platinum. That's what I'm picking up on, and I think it's because of the bergamot and the geranium and the apple sweetness as well. Not a bad fragrance, guys. That's what it smells like to me. Um, I would probably go with the Coachman Platinum. That was handing me. That's that one has gotten me so many compliments. But this one, I'm just concerned. Again, it's going to be about longevity and projection. I just don't foresee this unless you unless you're wearing this in summertime. I just do not really see this one really going anywhere. If you're going to buy this one as a standalone fragrance, you'd have to probably really like it for it to really. How could I say? come out in your collection i don't think it's one that i'm going to be picking up every five minutes i'm just not picking up on that sort of vibe nice fragrance but just not enough to make me really want to go and spend 12.99 but that's my opinion guys leave your comments down below now so 6.0 smelling this one for the first time sport edition all of them are edts guys it says seems like or the toilet so definitely guys i'm opening with this type of even borderline sort of seashell if that's even a, a note you could imagine Imagine being on the beach, that's what I'm opening with, this type of citric, fresh lemon, like um, it's saying it's got coriander in there, it's saying it's got citrus notes, cashmere cedar, and it's saying it's got amber and sandalwood. Um, it opens really bright, it opens really bright with the citric note, it opens very fresh, very, as I say, reminds me of the sea, reminds me of being at the beach, is what I get. But then it seems to die away, and I'm left with this type of if it's not like a patchouli note, this type of this coriander sort of smell, which is like a greeny type of smell, if that even makes sense. Fougere, maybe. I'm not really getting. I, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling. This is just like coriander note. It's, it's, it's just pleasant. It's just pleasant. It smells to me like shower gel. That's the only way I could describe it. Shower gel with a slight twist of twist of lemon. That's what it, that's what it picks up to me. Fresh blue shower gel, twist of lemon. That's all I get. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, would I buy this one? No. Um, would I tell anyone to go buy it? No, I'm not going to recommend it. Um, it smells like skin scent. It's not going to last longer than an hour. You'd have to wear that one literally in the hottest country you can imagine to probably get away with anything. Because for me, it just doesn't, beyond, beyond, the, beyond the coriander, no, it just smells like it's just dissipating, it's going away. It doesn't smell like anything's going to happen with this fragrance. 
no not for me not even gonna bother rating it trash next one okay guys so on to the next one again it's sport edition this is 8.0 as we all know this is one of the classics and it's in the green bottle so this is 8.0 the sport edition spraying this now so it seems to move away from this type of the bright watery sort of notes that you get again with the original edt this one seems to have slightly some, some more of a difference this one seems to have slightly more of like a there's a bass note or something I can't pick up on. It takes it slightly, it's, it could even be patchouli. It's not like a dirty sort of note, if that even makes any sense. Like an earthy sort of note. The watermelon note is still there, so you do get a little bit of this freshness, freshness coming out. Obviously there's musk there as well. It just smells like there's a particular note in there, which I just cannot, note in there, which I'm saying I can't pick up on it. I've just had to look at the note breakdown. It's saying it's got some violet in there, some mandarin, orange, and definitely some, some cardamom and some mint. So it could be the mint where I wasn't able to really pick up on it. It's okay, I mean it's just like a, it's just, it is to me like a, it just smells to me like a shower gel fragrance, honest to God guys, like, there's just nothing really to take away in my opinion from this one, stick with the 8.0 the, uh, original, I can understand where it's got the mint in there because again it's coming from a sporty version so maybe slightly more to give that type of, something which is slightly fresher, some, something which is going to cut through the air but not obviously, you know, it's a lighter version of the fragrance. This to me smells to me, it reminds me of a Lacoste type of fragrance to me, to be honest guys. It's not a bad fragrance at all. It just smells like it's just, I've smelled too many fragrances now to really use this for any particular reason. But again, if you're a real fan of 8.0, to be honest, this isn't a bad one. I'm just concerned, again, maybe this one might give you an hour or so. And again, if you're wearing this in a sort of like a, a gym environment, I think you'll be okay with it. It just reminds me, as I say, like a Lacoste fragrance, which is just maybe one of the ones which was like the white shirt sort of fragrances. Borderline, this could even be, you could even, because it's got like a grapefruit note I'm picking up on in there, you could even take this slightly down the Bleu de Chanel, slightly down that sort of way. It's not as heavy as that, don't get me wrong, but the grapefruit note I'm picking up on, the opening of Bleu de Chanel, that opening brightness I'm getting from this a little bit, with again, slightly more like an aquatic sort of, um, watery mint watermelon sort of note going on uh, to imagine for what i'm picking up on this one guys if you were to imagine uh lacoste i think it's in a black shirt in a black bottle that's got a chocolate note in there take the chocolate note out of there of what i'm picking up on this one not bad fragrance guys is what comes to my nose from one to five i probably give this one probably black again a two and a half don't think it's bad for what it is but again i personally just don't see 12.99 going on this one but yeah not bad not bad not bad in comparison to what the other ones are so that is 8.0 um, spot let's get into it in respect to the next guys so next fragrance here we go 9.0 spot let's do it i think i've been spending smelling these fragrances now for the past hour okay so straight away guys it's 9.0 again i'm gonna have to give the comparison because that's what it smells like to me the your arm mixed with um valentina warmer this one however that opening brightness that you get that waxiness that you get that sort of lipstick vibe that you get from Dior Homme seems to be toned down the Valentino Omo aspect doesn't seem to really be there as much in this fragrance compared to the extreme and the original this probably lends itself slightly more to the Dior Homme side of things but again it's just not as waxy it's not as open it's not as bold I would say it smells to me like there's slightly of a, a gourmand note in this one to some extent it's kind of note breakdown it's saying it's got lemon mandarin orange cardamom lavender and geranium and ginger so maybe that's why i'm picking up on this like the gourmand element from the ginger in the base it does give it like a type of spiciness actually that's that's an interesting take on it and again it's probably again because it's a smart spot type of fragrance but i just feel obviously spraying on car spraying on skin i'd run out of space to spray it but ultimately for me I'm, I'm personally gonna stick with the, I'd say I stick with the original EDT, potentially, potentially going to the uh, extreme version. This would pr probably be the last in my list on this one because um, it just, it's just like a, again, it just smells like a fragrance which is just one of those by the by. You bought it maybe one day, you spray it a few times and you just leave it and you just move on to the next one. There's nothing that really stands out to me in this particular fragrance other than if you, if you put this side by side with another Zara fragrance I guarantee this would not be one that you'd pick this is one of those fragrances you put it in a line of fragrances you didn't know what the house was this is not one that you'd really go out of your way for and if you said to the person all of these fragrances are $12.99 each and um, this is just going to be one you think to yourself well what's the point nice fragrance if you like a ginger type of fragrance definitely picking up that ginger note now but again it doesn't lend itself to me to be a fragrance which I would really want it's not a powerhouse fragrance put it that way but obviously it's a sport edition so they're going to try and make it fresh 
So let's get into it guys in respect of the next one. This is 12.0 Sport. Okay guys, 12.0 Sport Edition. Let's get into it now in respect of this particular fragrance. So again guys, I'm mentioning it again. It smells like Night Port on whichever one in the blue bottle. Maybe four or five. This to me just smells, you know what, this is, it gets to a point you think these guys are just taking the piss now. This one smells to me like the um, sport edition of that night port on. That's all it smells like to me. There's nothing, there's nothing else to take away from it. I'm not even going to bother reviewing this one. That's what it smells like. They've already released it guys, it's just in a different bottle. They've called it 12.0 sport, but realistically it's just the same as night port on sport. Nothing else. Um, no breakdown, guys. You can go and check that one out. Nothing to even talk about in this one. It's just, it's just a so-so. Yeah, leave that one alone. Disappointed. Disappointed is what I'm gonna say. Disappointed. Spend all this time, do all this stuff, and then disappointed. Okay, guys. And the very last one on the list from the actual sport editions that have been recently released, and this is 14.0. So the last ones I've talked about had the type of pineapple note going on in there. So let's see what this one. This is the sport edition. So I'm hoping this one gives me something to walk away with and think, yeah done a good job i actually didn't like it i actually did not mind the last one right okay so definitely guys again i'm getting this hugo boss unlimited pineapple note zara summer pineapple note going on that's still there it's not as bright it's not as open as the other ones because the other ones are like a bitter pineapple so sweet like a sweet note this one seems to be it's got like a watermelon note in there so it's got watermelon rose grapefruit apple base note sandalwood cedar Birch, vetiver and watery notes. It just smells like a washed out version a little bit of the Extreme and obviously the EDT. It's not bad, again, for, for sports fragrances personally, I just think it's, it, it, it does cut through the skin scent aspect, I think, because you've got this, water, this sort of, this watery type of watermelon not going on. So that's what gives it this fresh, I mean, if you imagine watermelon, you can imagine like a, it just, you know, makes your mouth water sort of smell. That's what it smells like to me. Gourmandish, fruity fragrance, not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, again, it reminds me of a Lacoste fragrance. I personally, I, I would prefer the extreme version to this one if I had to pick between the two, but this is not a bad fragrance. This is just um, a nice, fresh sort of pleasant fragrance, very safe fragrance, very sort of um, sociable fragrance. You don't necessarily have to be waiting to wear this in a sports environment. You could even, even just wear this on an evening, potentially, probably more so summer, I would say. Not bad fragrance at all. Um, they've done better, but that's what it is. So ultimately, guys, if I was to pick any of these fragrances out of this particular pack, I'm not even going to give them some. Of, it's difficult to give one out of five if you're not really satisfied. But um, it's a very tough call because they're not particularly great. Uh, five minutes later, I'm going to have to go with 9.0 again. I'm going to go with 9.0, and um, the sole reason that again it just seems to because I know the DNA of it. That's probably why I'm sticking with that one. The ones just seem to be like variations of stuff they've brought up previously, or they just seem to be so um, so you um, watered down that there's nothing to really remember. And that's what I'm going to say. So hopefully, guys, I say I want I wanted to say this. Hopefully, it saves some time, some money. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Again, guys, I do appreciate the support. Please just remember that these videos do take a bit of a time to actually produce. Um, they're not easily done. So I do appreciate guys if you can leave some positive feedback and also if you can comment and well when you comment also if you can make a like as well because the channel needs to grow. You know some of you guys say oh well you know you should be at like 3,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers. Well you know it is what it is and I mentioned before I personally I think I'm going to start another channel maybe focusing on aspects of fashion and other things like that um, and getting to things that I like to get at discount for the reason why I get them at discount um, because some of these fragrance reviews now is very difficult to rank on YouTube guys. If I talk about perfumes de Mali or something like that, it just seems that the video does not rank at all. But then if I talk about this, you know, Zara fragrances, still relatively new to some people, the video will rank and more people see the message. So by all means guys, again, thank you for the continued support. I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.